Okay guys, it is Sunday and I am cooking Sunday dinner. Today on the menu, I'm going to do a cream of mushroom pork chop over yellow rice. So, as you guys know, I already have uh, my pork chop. I already had those marinating overnight. I seasoned these up yesterday. Show you guys. Look at all that season sitting on there. Y'all know me. I'm going to put season on my food. I am seasoning the food. So, all right. And they're just a little small cut pork chops. Publix had these on sale this week, guys. Yep, look at all those spices. Look at all that goodness. Just going to lay them flat in my pan. Always make sure your meat's flat in the pan to make sure it gets cooked properly. Just going to lay these flat in my pan. These are some nice sized pork chops, but you guys know they're going to shrink as they cook, so I'm going to squeeze them in my pan here. Squeeze them so they all fit. I've got six of them. Alright, show you guys another one there. Look at that meat. Nicely seasoned. Yes. Yes. Okay, put the bowl over there in the sink. Get my pork chops flattened out here. Just maneuvering my meat so that everything's all nice and flat so it cooks evenly. Okay. Things all nice and flat here, guys. I'll show you once I'm done. Let me go get my hands washed off. I'll be right back. It's Sunday morning guys. I am in the kitchen as always. I am in the kitchen, you know, doing what I got to do for the fam. And let me show you guys. Okay. All right. We've got the pork chops all nicely seasoned in our pan. All nicely seasoned guys. They've been marinating overnight. I like to uh, prep my meat the night before so the seasons and everything soak all in guys So that's what they've been doing marinating overnight So what I'm gonna do you guys saw me put it down and this in the pan and this is my old faithful uh, Canola cooking spray. It's just the Publix brand and I'm gonna take some of this And spray across the top of my meat just spray across the top of my meat help cooks it and it also helps it uh, get that little brown toasty look across the top. You guys will see. Helps the meat cook. Helps it brown. All that good stuff. It's oil. So, that's what it does. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven. I am cooking breakfast. You guys know me. I'm always cooking breakfast. I am making pancake muffins for the girls. Pancake muffins, guys. They love my pancake muffins. Um, I cooked pancakes the other weekend. Uh, they wanted pancakes again. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do the pancake muffins. You know, something different. And I've got my hash brown egg sausage bacon over here. I'm telling you guys. Got some bacon in the air fryer here cooking up. It's about ready to come out. Yeah, looks like it's ready to come out. I'll get that out. And this is how it is on Sunday mornings with me, guys. I'm doing it on Saturdays too sometimes. Um, but usually on Sundays, I'm cooking Sunday breakfast sometimes for the girls. Um, cooking, I get up early Sunday morning. I like to get up early and cook my, my Sunday breakfast. I'm old school. Y'all know that by now. So I like to get up early in the morning, get my Sunday dinner cooked. Um, you know, so that's nice and fresh. Um, some people cook their Sunday dinners the day before. That's fine. I've done that before too. But, um, I usually, nine times out of ten, I'm cooking it the same day because I like for my food to be fresh. So, I'm up early in the morning cooking. So, alright guys, let me go ahead and get these, uh, pork chops in the oven. Uh, so we can go ahead and get them nicely grilled. And you guys will see what I do with them next. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I just took the pork chop out of the oven. It tastes hot. Yeah, that's hot. Ooh. Look at that. 
I'm gonna bring you guys in for a closer look, but before I do that, you know what? Let me go ahead. I'll do that first. Bring you guys in for a closer look so you guys can see how it looks. Freshly grilled out of the oven in my Gotham, old faithful Gotham pan. Look at that, guys. Y'all know I'm gonna take y'all in. Y'all always wanna be in my business. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all in. <laughs> All right, look at that. Beautiful grilled pork chop. Beautiful grilled pork chop. Look at that. Little brown crisp peeping up at you. Look at it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys, let's move on. All right. Now that I'm let y'all all in the business, let's get y'all back set up over here so y'all can see what I'm going to do next. Okay. Make sure y'all can see. All right, y'all can see. Okay, good, y'all can see. All right, guys, so now, what I got is Campbell's Cream of Mushroom, and this is the 10 and a half ounce can. Y'all see, Campbell's Cream of Mushroom. Let me put that so y'all can see. Cream of mushroom soup. All right, now what I'm gonna do with it, I'm just gonna take it and spread it all over the pork chop. All over the pork chop. All I'm gonna do. See that, just pour that right over your grilled pork chop. You gotta put a little water in your can to get the rest of that cream of mushroom out. That's old school. That's old school, y'all. Put a little water in your can to get the rest of your cream of mushroom out. Cream of mushroom, guys. Now, let me get my fork. Y'all know this is my Gotham. I'll just get my spatula. This is my Gotham. I'm not putting no metal near my Gotham. And you know what? I'm just going to spread that cream of mushroom right on over it. I'm going to scrape my seasons off, so I'm doing this lightly. Just going to take my cream of mushroom and just spread it all over the pork chops. Make sure they get, everybody get their share of cream of mushroom. Make sure you, everybody getting covered here. You got your little juices at the bottom that's left over in the pan from cooking. All oh, that's going to work together with your um, cream of mushroom. All oh, that's going to work together. That's going to all melt down. All right, let me bring you guys back in so you can see how it looks. I have spreaded the cream of mushroom all over the pork chop. I'm going to cover it back up with the aluminum foil, put it back in the oven. Uh, I've got the temperature at 375, and you know what, guys? I cooked these. These were done in about 15 minutes. They're thin pork chops, so they don't take long. Preheat your oven. I preheated to 375. Um, these are the thin cut pork chops. I put them in like, actually, yeah, about 10 minutes. They were done. Um, and I just poured the cream of mushroom over them. Now I'm going to put that aluminum foil back over the top, put them back in about 10 minutes, and you guys will see how it looks when I bring it out. When I bring it out, bring them out. You guys will see. All right, we'll be back. Bye. Okay, guys, I just pulled the pork chops out of the oven, and this is what they look like. Mm, look at that. That is your cream of mushroom pork chops and I will also be cooking yellow rice to go with this so it's gonna be cream mushroom pork chops over yellow rice look at that guys it looks so good and you just pick up the you, you lay down your rice and you just take your pork chop and just lay it right across the rice and you just eat it like that so good guys quick and easy meal quick and easy meal guys that is our cream of mushroom pork chops. 
And y'all know I'm going to take y'all in. Look at that. Look at that green mushroom sitting on the pork chop. Look at those seasons. Oh, look at it. Oh, man. Y'all know I'm going to take y'all in. Look at it. Mmm. Mmm. Look so good. Make you want to sing. Y'all know I'll sing to y'all in a minute. Mmm. 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 Look at that. All right, y'all. Mmm. 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 Look at that right there. Beautiful. Y'all know I got to show y'all. Y'all like it when I zoom in and take y'all in. Y'all like it. I like it. Because I'm ready to eat. Look at that little brown crisp piece peeking up at us right there. Ooh, don't be peeking at me. Look at that. Mmm, 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 guys. Ooh, wee. Looks so good. Make me want to sing some Beyonce. Ooh, wee. I think I might sing a little Beyonce for y'all. Baby, those walls are built. Baby, they're tumbling down. They didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Standing in the light of your halo, ooh, I got my angel now. I ain't gonna hurt y'all like that. I ain't gonna hurt y'all like that. I might sing a little more for y'all later. It's like I've been a weekend. Every rule I had you break it. It's the risk that I'm taking. I ain't never gonna shut you out. Baby, when I'm looking out, I'm surrounded by your embrace. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna give y'all no more. I might give y'all a little bit more later. Beyonce, holla at your girl. All right, y'all. That is the mushroom pork chops. I'm gonna go ahead and cook that yellow rice. Bye, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back with the final uh, dinner, Sunday dinner. This is my yellow rice. And y'all know I get that Mahatma yellow rice. I love it. Basically all you do uh, for the size uh, bag that I get, uh, three and a half cups of water, two tablespoons of oil. Um, let that come to a boil, pour your yellow rice in, cover it 20 minutes on low heat, done. Quick and easy. And of course you guys know we've got our cream of mushroom pork chop over here. Y'all know I already sang Beyonce for y'all, so that's what it's looking like, guys. And that is Sunday dinner. Just wanted to come back and give you guys the final uh, picture of everything. Uh, cream and mushroom pork chops and our yellow rice. That's our quick, nice and easy Sunday dinner. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.